Okay, Tane, where are we today? We are in Port Stanley in southern Ontario. And what's that behind you? It's a big fish, Norm. <laughs> I think that's a pickerel. Ooh, it and is. And do you know what Port Stanley is famous for? Fish. Lake Erie pickerel. pickerel. And I Ooh. think we might try and find that for lunch. What I, do you think? I think that would be a great idea. So here we are in Port Stanley, southwest Ontario, and we're going to explore the town and the beach. So we found Mackey's, the famous Mackey's. And what is Mackey's famous for, Tin? They are famous for orange aid. It is. That's curious, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and they're right down on the beach. It is, and it's a, a great spot if you're on the beach and sunbathing, swimming, you can come right into there and get French fries, all types of pub food, and orange. Orange aid to aid. wash it down with. So this is the famous Mackey. It's been in Port Stanley for a long time. So we're just walking past Mackey's and we can see the beach. Wow. Well, here's the beach in Port Stanley. Isn't it beautiful, Norm? It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> so this is the main beach. It is. And what's the lake behind us, Tane? It's Lake Erie. And that's another great lake. It is. Great Lake of Canada. And just a week ago, we were at another Great Lake. We were at the Lake Huron. So within about an hour and a half to two hours of where we live, there are three Great Lakes. It's amazing, isn't it? It really is. But the difference with the lakes in Canada is that we're 3,000 miles from the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but these are oceans, aren't they? And to us, the lakes are just like oceans, aren't they? And you just look at, at the amount of sand and beach, and it's just absolutely amazing. Can you see the cliffs, Norm, in the distance? So you could come here for your summer holiday, <laughs> beach vacation, you can swim in the ocean, it's just absolutely perfect. Wow. So the thing about Port Stanley is it's one of the few, I think, seven beaches in Canada that has a blue rating as one of the most safe beaches and environmentally kept with good high quality water. So this really is the treasure of Ontario. Well, honestly, Tim, this just looks like Florida, doesn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. So we're on Port Stanley Beach in yeah. southwest Ontario on the shores of Lake Erie. Absolutely wonderful it is. And we have a beach rescue lifeguard station here. Yeah, that's right behind us. And it's just unbelievable. Uh, well, we're an hour and a half from home and it seems like we just arrived in Florida. <laughs> But we didn't have that huge 24 hour drive, Norm. I know. It's just absolutely beautiful weather. And look, team, we still have to. Yeah, we still got to abide by COVID 19 beach safety rules here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Stay four meters apart if you're lying on the beach, two meters apart if you're walking. No, oh, no look at that. No woof woofs on no. the beach. <laughs> Maximum two thousand dollar wow. fine. Down Fido. Woof. Whoa. Woof woof. The impressive thing, Tane, is that they're grooming the beach as well, the, the sand. Isn't that amazing? This is one of the best kept secrets in Ontario, I would say. So we found another classic <laughs> restaurant in Port Stanley and it's right on the beach. And this is called GT's. And it is a great spot. Um, you can sit actually on the sand. Yeah, literally, aren't you? You can get your uh, alcoholic beverages and like pub food. Yeah, sort but, of fries. But, but and... look here, they're right <laughs> on the main beach with the Lake Erie in the background. So they've made lots of things to do, haven't they? Yes. They've got uh, this basketball court, basketball. which is just by the beach. Yeah. And then we've got uh, public washrooms. Look really well. Uh, Very well looked after, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, modern buildings. Yeah. And then we've uh, 
We've got the entrance to GTs over here with all the yellow umbrellas, which look uh, pretty fantastic. They do. <laughs> How do you fancy a holiday home in Port Stanley? Don't these look really nice, Norm, behind us? Absolutely beautiful. And I bet you from the top of them, they're like three stories high, you'd get a view of the ocean. Well, that's not the ocean, is it? Oh, oh you know <laughs> what I mean. It, it's just like the ocean to me. I know it, it's a big lake. I know. It looks absolutely amazing. So these look brand new, and there's about three or four of them still unsold. Yeah. So that's... here you go. Get a house in Port Stanley. It just looks like Florida, though, doesn't it? Or <laughs> somewhere in the southern U.S. Absolutely gorgeous. Never seen anything quite like this in Ontario. So our extensive research for lunch <laughs> led us to... Barnacles. So we're going to try and get the Lake Erie... Um, pickerel. 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 Or perch. Perch. One or the other with fries and coleslaw for lunch. So it is a delicacy getting uh, lake pickerel, lake perch. Yes. And we're hoping that they'll have it. Try and find our, our perch dinner. It's like fish and chips. So I'll wait outside. Okay. <laughs> so what do you got there, team? Oh, here is lunch. And Come on. It looks, it's all in a nice brown bag. Okay, well, let's head off to the waterfront. Hey? Yeah. This is going to be a nice lunch. Look at the weather here. Isn't it fantastic? This is September. I know. So are you ready for some fish and chips? Absolutely. Sounds like she's put everything in the bag, all the food knives and forks and everything well the reason we chose barnacles is that they just had excellent reviews they did on TripAdvisor, expedia and uh well we love to take recommendations from other people we do Ooh. thank you alcohol wipes that? Alcohol wipes. Wow. Oh, they pretty. So look what we've got, team. Wow. We've got our, our dinner here. They even gave us alcohol wipes to wipe our hands to be hand sanitized. Isn't that amazing? Well, maybe we should try one before lunch and one after. Let's see what we got. Oh, <gasps> look at the sun. And the sun just came out on our pickle. Look at the sun size of the fish so this is lunch for us which is fresh lake pickerel with fries cooked to order and it came right out of the lake behind us look at what we got here look at this norm we've got lemon slices there's two containers of tartar sauce one for me and one for you wow Look at the size of the fish. Fish looks amazing, too. Wow. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that taste delicious? That is so, hey? so sweet. So here we are at the Port Stanley Lighthouse. <gasps> and it's beautiful. So this is part of the breakwater rehabilitation. So you've got Lake Erie behind us. And this is the lighthouse for the port of... Port Stanley. Exactly. So we're actually stood almost at the end of the Port Stanley Pier. We actually can't go through those gates. No. Because they are actually saying it's a heritage lighthouse and it's restricted area. So unfortunately, we can't take you right to the end of it. We found those sort of uh, fish on the fence. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they all look like hand-painted. So oh, this is another must-do in Port Stanley. <laughs> We're at the train station. <laughs> so this is a tourist train that they've put on that runs between Port Stanley and St. Thomas. And we did have a day out in St. Thomas and saw the rail lines. Yeah, we did. We had a lovely day there. St. Thomas is called the railway capital of Canada. And we can put a link 
to our video. The one thing I noticed too is that when we were in Alaska, there was that Alaska train. Yes. And it was exactly the same color as this. Oh, it was the same green and yellow. So anyway, let's... isn't this beautiful? So we're at Port Stanley Station, and the railway cars look in just such great condition. And this is the old station building. Doesn't it just Isn't, look yeah. beautiful? And the only reason it is closed at the moment is because of COVID. Yeah, we believe it is still closed because of the COVID-19. Yes. But, um, which is a shame because it's, a, it's something that we've wanted to do for quite a while is to ride this. Well, here we are in front of the Port Stanley Visitors Centre. And what's the most important thing about the Port Stanley Visitor Centre team? Um, that it's got public washrooms in it. Ding, 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 we have a winner. <laughs> it's always a good idea, especially with this COVID thing, to manage to locate places that have public washrooms. It, it, it has are, been difficult. Yeah, we are told that the Visitor Centre has washrooms, so we will check that out later. So this is just a fantastic resource to have. Isn't it it's beautiful? Very nicely done. Visitor center from Elgin County Tourism. So this is a Great Lakes fishing trawler. And you know that lunch we just had? Yeah. Probably came off this boat. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Fresh pickle. Wow. So they catch pickle and perch uh, in Lake Erie. And so while Port Stanley used to be a commercial port, for cargo. It's now just a uh, municipal port and home to a fishing fleet. Isn't this just amazing, Tim? Oh, that we can come down here. It's gorgeous. And the fishing boats have a special design that all the decks are enclosed so that the sailors or deckhands oh. who are catching the fish can process them in undercover. Oh, isn't and protected that from the wind and the ocean, or oh, the lake. Yeah. What a great design. So we found the other part of the fishing fleet in Port Stanley. We have. And this is where our pickerel lunch came from. Yeah, wasn't it delicious? So have we mentioned that we're not in the Falkland Islands? No, I don't think we have. Well, there you go. We're yeah. not in <laughs> Port Stanley in the Falkland Islands. We're in Port Stanley, southwestern. Ontario. Here we have now found the Port Stanley Festival Theatre, which happens to be right next door to the library. <laughs> and the nice thing about the Festival Theatre is it only performs Canadian works. So it's... Um, That's neat. You're going to see things here, maybe uh, from new authors, experimental works. So it's, um, I think, somewhere in the region of 200 seat theatre. So we found the Centenary Fire Hall from 1874 to 1974. I guess it got rebuilt after that. But what's unique about it, 18, you spotted this. Yeah, I've never seen this before. Just look at that. The mural. On the, on the doors. Isn't that cool? Isn't that beautiful? So this is the Central Elgin Fire Rescue in Port Stanley with a really cute mural of an old fire truck. That's awesome. So what do you think about Port Stanley? It's been a big surprise for us. Absolutely it is. It's an absolutely beautiful place. It actually reminds me of parts in Florida. It does. So you've got uh, Lake Erie, which is yeah. right here, where, where town is on Lake Erie. And then you have this, I think, Kettle Creek coming into town. So on one side of the river, it's very much beach orientated. Yeah. It reminds us totally of Florida. Yeah. And then on the other side of the river, it kind of more reminds you of uh, New England, I think. And uh, Oh, and Bar Harbor, in a way. It does. Yeah, there's beautiful um, inns to stay in and gift beautiful shops. little gift shops and, and restaurants. Yeah, very nice, very peaceful, beautiful bed and breakfast. So it's lovely. Uh, it, it's almost uh, a tale of two towns. <laughs> yeah, two sides to it, but it the is. same place. But it's just a beautiful place. You've got a wide open uh, catchment river going into a marina, a lift bridge to let the boats go under into the marinas. 
but you couldn't dream for anything better than this. No, it's beautiful. So we're going to head home now because it's getting later in the day. We've had a fantastic day out. We have, and thanks everybody for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have been here. And this is another great small town in southwest Ontario that you should come and explore if you're ever in Canada or in Ontario. Absolutely. So thanks for joining us. Stay safe. Keep well. And bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.